Okay, so I have definitely had more than one request to do Cosmo. So this is Cosmo issue two. Uh, 2022. It doesn't have a date. So, this is exciting. We are going to... Oh, that's a scent bird. We're not sure about that one. Josiah didn't like it. I didn't really like it. I'm not sure about it. So, we are going to do... She's a good face. Very, I like a scrunchy face, right? Oh, there's a bunny outside. I love Casey Musgraves. She is a fun girl. Oh, look, they're already doing collages. I don't know anything about pop culture. Ooh, look at that big old glittery butterfly. Oh, I love that. All right, we're gonna put a pin in the glittery butterfly. Good faces, not very big. It doesn't mean we can't use them, but they're not very big faces. Little bodies. So this is going to be a good book. Like these little bodies are going to be good for my um, altered book. Oh, these are gals who are plus sizes. Ooh, the greatest mask. Oops, greatest. Darn it. I nudged my thing out. Greatest mascaras of all times. That was good color. Chanel. Coco Chanel. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. It feels like there's a page, but maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. There's a bunch of good feet. Cowboy boots are coming for you. I love cowboy boots. This appears to be sort of an Easter one. I have done that one three times. I am not doing, she's not tempting me again. I might use her eyes, but I won't use her face. Kitty. You know we love a kitty here. That could be a really strange, so what's really cool in magazine collage is when you have somebody on a chair and you actually tip them up upright and they're not sitting right for their body, it kind of freaks you out. And you go, why doesn't that look right? There's a friend. There's another collage. They're already doing collage. All right, so I don't need that. Oh, I like her. Oh, she has a great face. Okay. <gasps> we got all kinds of people with great faces. Oh, I kind of like her. Oh, I like her face. So we are going to do her face. And then we have to decide which eyes. I feel like her eyes are very big and wide apart. I like her eyes. So we got this face, this eyes. Now we got to figure out something for them to do. Okay, that's a cute picture. We might be able to find a good body here in the dark stuff. A lot of good eyes for later. Ooh, that's an interesting pose. Good face, very good face for magazine collage. 
So there is definitely stuff here that you could use to make a bunch of collages. Oh, some horses. Oh, I love me a horse. Okay, so a call of the urban cowgirl. Well, if I ever get horses, I tend to put them in my collages. <gasps> Look at that pretty horse. Okay. Ooh, look, it's a Black Lives Matter horse. How cute. I love that one. Okay. So, I am not upset about this magazine at all. There were some really cute things. So, we are either going to do a wide one with this gal on this horse and this head, right? Or we're going to do this gal on this horse with this lady's head, which is probably what we'll have to do because it needs to be smaller. Or we could do, I want the Black Lives Matter. I could do this gal on this horse too. So maybe we could do two. Do you want to do two gals on horses? I kind of feel like I have them. All right. And we got these good people back here. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's in this section. I don't want a finger over a lip. Oh, I could do a side head. I kind of love her face. She's got squinty eyes. Okay, I do kind of love her face. And we're getting some good background. And I could use her eyes. Do we have good eyes? Okay, so one horse, this lady. This horse, this lady. I'm going to be taking her eyes out. Can we swap them with... I feel like I could swap them with this gal's eyes. They're not very much bigger. I'd like a set of bigger eyes for this girl. So we're going to go through. I feel like those are really good eyes. I'd like somebody who I don't really... I think I could use his eyes. Okay, so thus far we have two ladies on horses, some good background stuff. What is going on here? Is there anything good on the back of this? Oh, we can use this for background images. So we have some pink going on here. We have green going on. So let's use this and this pink. Okay. So I have to tell you, so we're going to use pink and burgundy and green for the border. And we'll probably have this gal's face in the border. We're going to have two ladies on horses. Okay, now I would like some stuff for the border. Some little stuff. So, I am going to go to an old Diane Ravely journal that I did one of my very first magazine collages in. I was really hoping that Diane was going to be bringing out her next journal soon, but she's awesome. She tells you when stuff's coming out, and her next journal isn't until July. And I don't totally, oh, we forgot this. I 
don't feel like this has a place in this version. And I don't want to just waste it. That's so beautiful. We got a whole bunch of pretty girls. We'll have to come back through here for these pretty girls that we can do the... Um, the small journals for. I'm just kind of seeing if I can find anything for the borders. So kind of cute. I just love cowboy boots. Now I might use that at some time because I don't really have a use for cowboy boots, but I'm doing pink and burgundy and another color. Pink and bur burgundy and like a chartreuse green. All right, let's see if there's anything cute. Oh, I like him and I like this in the same color. Just give us a little interest on that side. <gasps> there's a friend. I'm going to save that for another one. This is really, that's really stunning. I went, oh, I have some flowers. Okay, we can use some flowers. Do, do, do. Some good textures in here. Like if you were doing a brown, you could use that as a texture and this as a texture. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. All right, so let's go back through them. We've got some flowers, some really cool flowers, actually. A tiger, a turntable, and a ice bucket. His eyes, her head, the backgrounds in here. This horse, her eyes, her face, this horse. And this is background stuff. So we have that cute thing. We've got more green. We've got some yellow and some burgundy. So that is going to be our, and I know that that thing is for ladies, but we're ignoring that in our magazine club. We're PG here, people. Okay, so that's gonna be our Cosmo magazine collage. Lots of people requested the Cosmo, and we're doing the Cosmo. I was super impressed with the images we got from it. So, I cut out a bunch of side pieces, because we're going to do another video where we put a lot of stuff together. But this is what we have. We have horses and flowers. A turntable, a tiger, another horse, two ladies' heads. This goes in my extra side pieces. Two ladies' heads with eyes, and then a border. So we're going to do it on here. That's a little bit meh. And I love the chartreuse and pink. So these horses, let's look at our horses. The, the pieces we have are really rather dark. So we need kind of a light background. And I was thinking, I would like to start using up some of this tissue paper I have made over the years. So let's think about, could we make this a part of the back? Oh, those feel like those could be really good parts of the background. And I don't know how good they're going to be to write on. So this is going to be definitely a, I'm looking at kind of a light green. Oh, there's one. All right, we got to let Wally out. He wants to help Desi. Oh, you want to help Desi too, Tiny? Okay, you boys get out. Oh. So don't you think that could be fun to, to do more mixed media-ish stuff? All right, there's a bunch for the back. We're going we're gonna to use that. Boop. All right, so 
So let's start by putting some of this down. And then we'll put it off to the side so that we can um, let it dry while we're putting together our um, paper dolls. And this, I don't think Mod Podge is going to ruin this Dilusions journal. Um, now, I do want it to be more on the top. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that. We're going to have to, where's my rollers? I've lost my rollers. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, here's my rollers. I don't want to do too much on top. I'd rather leave the paper. Like, so if you date, I will say a whole sentence, I promise. If you decoupage, decoupage, you're going to go underneath and over the top. That's just what decoupage is. And then you seal the top, and then you have a um, top coat of Mod Podge. But I'm not necessarily looking for that kind of situation. I'm more so looking for an undercoat so that we can still have a lot of, um, if we do India ink on it, or if we were to do... Um, uh, alcohol ink on it, or we were to do Posca acrylic paint, you know, I want more of a openness to the paper than it being totally Mod Podge down to where I couldn't use it anymore. And I'm not going for perfectly flat because my mixed media is a little grungy, dirty, fun, which I feel like could mess up our magazine collage down the road as we have more layers, but we'll never know unless we try. So I am going to try. And these are just um, pieces of tissue paper that I gel plated a while ago that we can use in this piece. Instead of painting the background like I usually do, a lot of times I will use distress paint or acrylic paint in the background. This way we're kind of using, we're adding texture and color. Okay, so we have two things here. I feel like these two match that, and this one doesn't, so we'll put that back. And let's... tear this. Because I want it to be more organic and not so... Like, I would never cut it. Right, so if, if I cut this with scissors, I would be adding a seriously bold, straight line to something that I'm going to be trying to use as a background. And I feel like that would be, um, that wouldn't help my artwork feel like it's, ooh, I think that one is deli paper. I don't feel like that would feel make my artwork feel like it's settled into the background, right? What the heck's going on here? That's a little kerfuffly. Let's get that stuck down. Let's get this stuck down. And if you never try, I literally have never tried this with magazine collage. I've done it with other things. Um, but if you never try anything new, I feel like you could get a little stale. Oh. All right, so we're going to put this up here in a big spot. Oh, and you might be wondering about my brush. This is just a 
cheapy, cheapy, cheapy silicone makeup brush that I got for my Mod Podge stuff because I was ruining my good paint brushes by using it for Mod Podge and then not cleaning it up real well. And the cool thing about this brush is that you just put it away. See that thing's just doing it again. What's up with that? You just put it away and then you peel it. You don't even have to clean it. So we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna make some paper dolls and then we'll come back and do the border in when this is dry. All right, that's good. This, oh, I don't, I do have, I have a other brush I need to wash. Yeah, I don't have anything else to put away. I do try to clean up a tiny bit as I go, but I don't, like I'm not rabid about it. Oh, this isn't clean. It's been a minute since I've used my Mod Podge. Okay, let's let this dry. And it shouldn't take too long. We got a fan going on in here. And we put like kind of a small coat. Uh oh, I'm losing a flower. I'll put that up there for a wee minute. Okay, so now we have two horses with little girl, little horse girls, and then we have two heads. So we are gonna put these heads on these girls. Okay, so if yep, if this. She's going to be looking at her, kind of. Oh, actually. Yeah. Okay. Boop. Boop. Oh, I like them. Okay, so let's stick their heads on. And we're just going to stick them over these other ladies, right over these other ladies' heads. Like so. All right, so now I have to figure out on this one, do I want to change her eyes around or do I want to, I think I want to just put them, don't go on there, put them underneath here by cutting this out and then I can just paint them up really cool. So we're gonna come in here, cut around here, cut around here. And you won't even be able to tell I cut this once we get this glued. I think we're going to be okay this way, but I may have to cut up a little bit if we're going to keep her eyelashes. Okay. Uh, let's see. What if we took off more of her eyelashes? Does that help at all? Oh, I hear the doggies outside. Yep, I think I gotta go around that bend. Right here, and we don't have all of this girl's eyelashes or, or eyebrows, sorry. Or I would use those. She's got a nice strong brow. So see, all I've done is cut that away. And now, I can slide this girl's eyes in there. She looks a little cross-eyed. And what I have found is if you can line up their noses, no matter where else things are going on, it makes them look cuter. Just, it does. Like I've done it where I didn't line up their noses because it was a funny height or a funny shape or whatever. After the last, in the last like, 50 collages I've done. If you don't see their eyes lined up, I would be really surprised. Because or their noses lined up, I would be really surprised because to me it feels like that sells the idea that oh well he's having a fit out there. 
You know, sometimes squirrels, and Wally's a beagle, beagles really like to, um, they're hunting dogs. And Wally came from hunting area. Now he was terrible at it and he got kicked out of hunting school. That's why we had to adopt him. But they pick beagles because they have good noses and they like to go hunting. So he is just doing what he was made to do. All right, so now let's do this gal's eyes. And we are gonna make these sad eyes. Those are just plain eyes. But I like when we take the eyes and cut them apart and turn them upside down, or flip them backwards so they aren't the same. So, and I think that makes their eyes look sad. There we go. Oh, very sad eyes. Good job, me. This girl had such beautiful eyes. And we're putting sad man eyes on her. Oh, not mayonnaise, man eyes. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Now let's get her on her horse. So we're just going to do that exact same thing again. Now, this horse has his feeties. That horse doesn't have his feeties. He had a dog in front of him, but we're not going to fret about that right yet. We have plenty of things to fret about before we get there. Okay, so those girls are on their horses looking cute. Oh, where's my horse? I have another horse. I have a whole bunch of flowers, really cute flowers, and a little tiger. All right, let's see if this is dry enough. Ooh, I think it is. And then the border will help stick this down too. There we go. There we go. So let's see what we have here that's cute. I think we got some really cute stuff to be honest with you. Uh-oh girls. Get out of harm's way. All right, all right. Okay, I think we should for sure use this turntable. Because I had a turntable like that when I was little. My dad had turntables. He, my dad had reel-to-reel. -reel, these really cool high def. And you would have a big reel and it would play through the speakers. My dad has always been a bit of an audiophile. Okay. Now I want something pink. Something in red. Something in pink. Oh, I just had the cutest idea. I'll show you in a second. All right, here we go. So we're going to go pink. And then do we want to do this? Oh, I'll put that on the inside. Like long down the side. I was just going to say something super, super funny. Like, I'm going to try not to make a chubby book. Like, I'm going to set an intention now to not make my book incredibly fat. And then that's a hoot. Because I don't pay attention. Okay, I need a green over here that's big enough to be the base. And I'm going to use this piece of really dark green. Because in the world of nature, dark things are on the bottom, right? Like, so, dirt is dark. The, dark, the ocean goes from light to dark. All kinds of natural things. I think I want a little bit more. Because I have to cut it off this way. Ouch. Ouch. 
I just cut my finger. All right. Oh, that's a pretty piece. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my pile of, we're gonna make a whole bunch of backgrounds another day. I wanna use a lot of pink. Oh, that's perfect size. I wanna use a lot of pink and green. In this one. I don't know if you can see down there. We'll scooch it up a little bit. I'm just putting a piece of pink uh, magazine paper down there. All right, here we go. Now we'll do some at the top. Oh, I love this dark pink. So we'll make two pieces of that to hold up the top. Do I have one already? Yep, I have one already. So we know they'll be different sizes, which is important. And you sometimes I would use that raggedy bit, but this one is gonna be pretty busy as it is. I have three horses, two ladies with big heads, a tiger. I got some stuff going on, right? So I don't think I need it to be, um, I need to add as much interest with the border as I might other times. Right, right, all right, all right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay, so we went, we're doing good. That's kind of wonky. I don't really like how, do not use your good scissors to cut glue. A very bad idea. But I just could not have. I don't like trapezoids. There, I've said it. If that makes me a shape bigot, then I am. I really don't like trapezoids. I like um, diamond shape very much, but those are even. I think that's why my husband and I got married because. Both of us cannot have like rugs that go on a weird angle. There's a bunch of stuff that we just can't have. And luckily our weird stuff matches. We've been married for 20 years this year. Married in 2002. We've seen some shit. And then we adopted all the children. Okay. We need one more piece of green. Is that one tall enough? Not quite. Let's do... I don't want it quite that dark. Do I have another? Oh, here. Here. There we go. Oh, that's tall enough. Okay, let's cut this off about there. And then I might even have enough for another cute pink and green one another day. Yeah, I'm going to be making a ton of borders because I really have enjoyed in my tall one when I can go through and be like, oh, would this fit on here? Now, one thing I would, I'm gonna change is a lot of times I had very intricate borders. Like I had, um, let me see if my tall journal is here. Nope, it's in the other room. So like I had diamonds over here and I'm finding it really hard to find something that matches diamonds. But I feel like if I could make it um, more generic, then we could really do be doing something here. Okay, so here's a composition thing. Uh, horses that are smaller and people that are smaller are further back. So we're going to make her feel like she's a little further back in the design, right? I might give her a little flower over here. And then, okay, I have a whole horse. He is going to have to go up there. Because he's coming. I don't care what anybody thinks. Okay. 
these girls could cross a little bit more too. Okay, I am, okay, do I need all of his ear? I kind of feel like I need all of his ear. Do I need all of his body? I do not need all of his body. Do I want two feeties? I could go right up to the edge with his feeties because he's not the important thing, but I love a horse. I love all animales, like for real. That's why I was a vegetarian for so long. I had um, some health problems with that, associated with that, so I couldn't be totally vegetarian anymore. But um, in a perfect world, I wouldn't eat any animales. Get his little ear in there. Get his two feeties in there. Oh, I think I even tipped him a little bit, which made him fit better. Sweet, sweet. Okay, I know this edge isn't stuck, stuck. So let's do this now so we don't have to do it later. Okay, there we go. Look at how nice he is. Okay. So now we got this gal who's going to be in the backer. So she's got to kind of go right there. I want to tuck her head in behind that horse. Now I'm not going to glue down the bottom of her because I'm going to layer some stuff, but her head can just tuck right in there. And then I know where that's going. What is that? Oh, it's glue? Yeah, it's glue. Okay, we got it off. Oh, that's a shocker that I had glue. That hardly ever happens all the time. Okay, his, ho my, his horse self got a little tippy, but nobody will notice that. Nobody is going to say to me, your horse appears to be a trifle tippy when there are girls with giant heads, right? Okay, so this gal, what do I have? I want, so this is my thought. This gal's the front gal, she's the back gal. Maybe we put a few little things around her. Oh, hold on. I thought we could put a little tiger I almost want it to be on this side, coming out of the foliage over here. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So she is gonna be right here. Now I do want her horse to be straight because I can't have two crooked horses or it will start to look like uh, I had a little tipple at dinner, but I didn't. I didn't have anything to drink at dinner. The service of today's dinner was not the best. Josiah made dinner though. It's all you can ask, right? We're lucky to have a kid who's a good cook. There we go. Boop. All right, her little hand, I feel like we could glue, and her little hand, I feel like we could glue. We're not going to change those. These are activist women who go to parades and things like that on their horses, which seems cool. Okay, so first off, I would go anywhere in the world on a horse, so... I'm not a good judge of, like, should you be an activist on a horse? Because if it has on a horse in it, I'm in. All right, so we have all kinds of cute little flowers. we got some butterflies. Oh, I wonder if I lost the other butterfly. Let's keep an eye out for her. But I know for sure we have this butterfly. Does she need a butterfly wing? Where's my other butterfly? Oh, oh, there's one. There's a wing. We could do that as a wing. 
Uh, I grab butter as a flower. Let me keep looking. I have a butterfly. I bet you it's in all this mess that I moved over here. And it was a very small butterfly. I could definitely cut us a butterfly wing out of, this is just a piece of garbage from my, from my um, desk. So we're going to cut this lady a butterfly wing. And that lady can have the real butterfly wing. Do we want it on this side? I think we want it on this side. And I think we want it slightly smaller because it's kind of a big butterfly wing for her. Okay, there we go. There we go. Do I want it? Oh, you know what? I think I want it to be just two wings, like a heart. There we go. Oh, yeah. That is what I was looking for. Okay, so now let's stick this down because we know where this is going to go. Some of them I can see in my head when I'm cutting them out and making them. And some of them I have to build, and this is a buildy one. I'm having to figure things out. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I'm feeling like this, like I don't need all of his feet. I could use a couple of them, but then they don't look so tippy. That's kind of cute. Okay, I'm gonna glue him down except for these two feet. I'm watching this program on Discovery Plus on HGTV called Unsellable Houses. And these there I was a realtor for a couple of years. I was a very good marketer, so I got lots of listings. And then I was not a great realtor because I really don't care if your switch plates bother you. And I, I, I wasn't very, I wasn't a very kind realtor to people who were really stressed out. I was, um, I was a really good listing agent because I got people's houses sold and it was like more of a business. Selling your house is more of a business than buying your house. Driving around in a car looking at houses, I did that twice, and then I realized that was not for me. I sold a total of two or three listings out of like the 50-some listings I sold. I just worked with sellers. Okay, that's cute. Now let's glue this down. I'm trying to see if I can save enough flowers to kind of put it, put some on the big horse up there like a, um, like they do at the racetrack. Because, you know, I have a little gambling issue. Like thus, like that, right? Like exactly that. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I'm doing that. <laughs> I am a gambler. I love gambling. I love going to Vegas. I love going to, I feel like I could lose a little bit of this. Hold on. I got to pull this up so I can see it. I feel like I could lose like to this one and not have it so much touch as nosy. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um, 
I almost feel like this thing comes off. And I can't really see because either you get a glare or I get a glare. Somebody gets a glare. Oh, I think if I did this. Now it looks like it ends at his neck. That's good. I like that. Oh, anyways, I was talking about my little gambling problem. Um, it's not a problem because I hardly ever go places where I can gamble. And when I do go places I can gamble, I don't know how to use my ATM card. I don't, I can't get money out of anywhere. And I make myself little envelopes as if I'm budgeting for um, my life and I can only spend so much a day. Because if I had unlimited money, I would gamble it all away on roulette. Okay, here we go. Luckily, the situation doesn't come up much. And now that we have children, I hardly ever get to gamble. I am going to go with Deb Ward, my friend um, who I made the butterfly thing for. She and I like to go to Hard Rock, which is like an hour away. Um, but we tend to go and eat, eat and do a little slots and it's not a big money night. Okay, here we go. This is what we have left. We have this little red, little yellow flower. We have this flower. So I feel like oh, he could be behind the tiger. And I have a ton of red over there that I can use, if needs be, to cut up into some flowers if we need them. Oh, look, he's so cute. I have this flower. I thought I had another white flower. How am I not having so many? Oh, I could put this flower behind this flower, like that. Okay, that's good. Just piecing together flowers at this point. Go. Perfect. That's cute. Okay, this will work. So we're going to put this flower. We're going to put this flower in front of the horse. I think you can see that. I hope you can. And I can color in some flowers if I want. I've been coloring a lot of flowers. I've developed a flower I, of my own that I like. So I have to cover up his toesies because he doesn't have any feet, right? So we gotta solve a problem there. Oh, here's another white one. I thought I had another white one. Look how pretty that is. Do we want this over here? No, because I don't want to cover up the turntable because that makes me think of my dad. So we're gonna put this over here. My dad is still with me. My mom passed away when I was 30 and I'm 55 now. So 25 years without my mom. But my dad and his partner, I go to see every week with Emmy, which is such a blessing. I mean, just, I can't even tell you how wonderful it is to still have my dad in my life. Now, I don't have the same dad I had growing up, and I don't know if any of you guys have that. My dad growing up worked at a corporate job didn't like kids very much, barely knew we lived there, and now he's all caring, ooey gooey Grandpa Jim. I'm like, where the hell did Grandpa Jim come from, and where was he when I was a child? Dad struggled with some stuff. He was gay in the 60s, in a corporation, in the Air Force, it was not okay to be gay in any of those places. And so he married my mom and adopted me and my brother. And then he never came out until my mom passed away when, she, when they were both 59. So now he has had a whole second life with Wally, his buddy. Wally's very offended that my dog's name is Wally, and so we yell, Wally! And he gets all jumpy and twitchy. 
which I don't mind. All right, so that looks cute. This looks cute. These girls are looking cute. All right, I'm going to work on this tonight, and I will be back. Okie dokie. So it is Saturday morning and I am playing around. Imagine that a hair in my work. And what we're going to do is just the final touches on this collage. Now I'm just going to take this incredibly beautiful, it's my favorite color. And these are the, the pit pens that are the India ink. And I'm going to just accentuate her hair. I thought her hair turned out amazing. Um, it had a little part in the middle where I was a little concerned. But then it came together at the end. I want to put a little bit of blue in their eyes. Oh, I didn't outline her eyes. I'm going to have to do that. And this goes over um, acrylic paint really well. That's why I love it. Okay. And I've showed you my bag of goodies before. I have a huge bag of Posca pens and Diane Reevely pens and all of the pens. Let's get them little spots in their eyes. And I feel like I could do some highlighting of these flowers, maybe around the outside edge, just to give them a little depth. They're not meant to be the most important part, but I would like them to be a little fancier maybe, just here and there. I don't know that that will really make a ton of difference. But I drew most of these flowers, and I'm very excited about it. I'm trying to start drawing more of my stuff. I did use some pit pens in the back to kind of make the, oh, here. This is gonna be perfect, there we go. We can fill that in right there, kind of highlight her lips. Lips would have a shadow underneath. And I think that is it for this one for now. I love how it turned out. What do you think? Okie dokie. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.